<laughs> That's a good question uh, to pitch that in just a couple sentences. So let's start from the back. Let's talk about tier three first. So tier three providers are those who only consume internet services from others, uh, but they don't sell to their end customers. Uh, that's the simplest form of, of the tiers. Um, talking about tier two, those are the ones who both buy from tier ones and they also sell to end customers, which are then usually tier threes. And then there's tier one, those do not buy from others. They just peer and they sell to tier two and tier three providers. So the tier model describes the relationship between those providers, and whether they buy from each other or sell to each other. So I think it's important to mention that the tiers only describe the relationship between the providers. They do not say anything about the quality, about the pricing, about the size of the network. Um, it gives some indication, of course, um, but at the end, it really just uh, nails it down to, to who buys from whom and who sells to whom. So when you uh, look at the purchase um, and decision to who to, bu who to buy from, um, then I think it's really crucial to kind of to look behind the tiers. So look at what you actually need. So um, when you're looking to buy IP Transit from another provider um, and you have to choose between tier one, tier two, um, and um, the first question you should ask yourself is what is the need for your network? So where are your customers? What is your interest and demand for quality? What is your price range uh, that you're looking for, uh, looking at? And um, where are you located? Are you just in one country and multiple? Are you a global player? And then you can move towards the question, um, okay, who's the best one for you?